What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Mike. Back again with my boy Ed. Oh man, let me what give up? you some air time. I need some air time up in here. Hey, you gotta get in you gotta get in the frame, man. Hmm? You gotta get in the frame. People gotta see your dish. We did. Alright. Yeah. It's lunchtime folks. Let's see. You know people do this stuff, man. We're doing the unveiling. What do I got here? So I went to my local place, Chicken Cottage, got my regs. Woo! Woo! Santa Maria! So we've got the rice and chicken. So the rice is under that chicken, covered with yogurt sauce. Looks nice. Like huh? yogurt mint, yeah? Yeah. And uh, salad. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. Yeah, right too, man. What's the topic today? What's the topic, man? What are you eating? What's the topic? What am I eating? Yeah. Chicken wings. Nothing special, man. Sean. Go ahead, hey, man. Take a <laughs> bite of it. You want to see it, man? So again, we're working. In Queen's Park, and we're like, yo, lunchtime, let's do it. <coughs> so Ed's like, yo, say no more. Usual spot. Chicken cottage never fails. Let's get it. Mm. Mm. Nice, yeah? Mm. Should I tell them that story? About the chicken cottage guy, so. Oh, yeah, chicken yeah. cottage Yeah, so what happened, right? So I think it was a couple of days ago I was here. And the dude, or <coughs> and I ordered the same thing. I always order the same thing. Um, chicken rice box, double fillet, grilled chicken. That's it. With a side, with a bottle of water. And the guy knows my order. Right? But this day, he decides that kind of funny and gives me just a grilled chicken. I'm like, hold on. I ordered rice and grilled chicken. He's like, no, 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 no. Then we start going back and forth for at least, what, two and a half minutes. I'm like, yo, as a business owner, take responsibility for the fuck up, right? I had to take responsibility. I'd be like, all right, cool, man, I understand, mm -hmm. man. Take responsibility for the fact that the order is, is messed up. Now can I get my rice and chicken? You know what I mean? Was it gone after you? Uh, he, was, after he was like, no, it's not my fault. I'm like, yo, dude, doesn't matter. Wait, wait. His manager comes out. He obviously, you can see why he's a manager. He obviously apologizes. Gives me a side of fries. I'm like, nah, man. I don't want a side of fries. All I want is rice and chicken and my water, water. Appreciate it. And that's it. So that's the story. It was last night, more. A couple of days ago. I don't know. And people never want to take like accountability. Right, especially when it's shit like that. Let's take accountability, man. Especially when you own a business. I'm like, yo. Just gonna see it right, man. All the fuck ups here, if you own the business, be like, yo. It's my responsibility. I am accountable. Fucking hell. Anyway. Didn't stop me from going back. Everything's good. Are your wings? They're not bad. I'm quite full anyway. That's some I had eggs in the morning, so just wings to talk about. What's going on with you, man? Hmm? What's been going on with you since I last saw you, man? Walking, man. Yeah? Just walking. Chilling. 
can't do much since the new lockdown came out, isn't it? When did I see before the new What do you do when you're chilling, man? What do you mean? Like, what's your chilling? Mm. So I stay in Govan, innit? Yeah. With the Messies. Good. I've been staying there for the last two years now. Nice. And how's it going? It's going good, man. It's going good. It's going good. good. Just walk, stay in the house. Staying busy, active. I don't, I, don't, I don't like staying in the house too much, you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely need to do something. How about you? I totally agree with you, man. For me, it's like mental stimulation, man. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I still need, I need to get something that's, you know, stimulating me mentally. Because what's killing everybody here is boredom. That's what I'm saying. You, you can't, you can't stay in the house. Boredom, sure. People, people, sure. Yeah. But. I think that's what kills people a lot, isn't it? When you have no choice but stay now. Yeah, not kills them like death, but like <clears throat> it's mind numbing. The board, the boredom. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree. And what happens is that it starts to that boredom starts to grow legs and arms into other things. Do you know what I mean? For instance, let's say if you're uh, if you're like a casual drinker or a social drinker you find yourself drinking excuse me every night you know what I mean? You find yourself drinking every night because you're like what the fuck? I don't know why but I can't I can't drink in the house a lot see? but that's not your vice though it's like even if I want to have a drink I, I can't do it 100% I can't. see it's not I, that I don't have that I, I know people vibe. Rev, I know people who who can't if they start drinking they can't stop drinking until they're fucked do you know what I mean? I can have a glass of wine. I can have a glass of wine. What's the point in that though? I don't have the propensity to want to have another drink. But it's it's a, it's a culture, especially where we live, man. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's all got to do with boredom. Because what happens, right? You, you find that you have all this free time and you have to fill it up with something else. More often than not, it's something unproductive. Even food, what we're having right now, if we're just chilling in the house, usually people have so many takeaways, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Doesn't need to be alcohol. Exactly. Whatever vice you have, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. You find yourself doing that more. Because I, you don't need to be in work the next morning. You know what Or school. Where about the commitments you have? A good thing to do is actually set something for the next day in the morning so you have something to do. So, so the night before? Be, the night before you're not done, like you said, whatever, mm. even having one drink. Mm. That's a good way to like plan your day for the next, for yeah. like the next day. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> Can't remember last time I went for a run, but I know run as well helps before bedtime. But it's just productive stuff, like find yourself because once you start to do that, you will, you begin to um, uh, build a habit, mm -hmm. right? Because either way, you're building a ha you're building a habit. Either it's either it's a good one or a bad one. That's upon you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you find yourself drinking every night, you're gonna build that habit, right? And or instead of doing that. Maybe listen to an audiobook. Huh? Does that work for you? Yeah, I love audiobooks, man. I love audiobooks. But I love uh, yeah, I love audiobooks and paperback. I've got I've got a Kindle, yeah. But I always find myself going back to it's fucking hot in here, man. Damn. Poiland, that's one of my jumping. Oh hot, man. Ah, oh, are you kidding me? Fucking clocks. Yep. Yo, give me are there any nuts? That's, that's, that's the way to eat right there. Check that out. Okay, well, miss my mouth. And, uh... Oh, fuck. 
This is disgusting. That goes in the video also. Eh? Yeah, that's nasty. Sorry guys, sorry guys, sorry guys. Table manners are out the window here. You know what I mean? I, I always go back to paperback or paperback or hardback. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I like the I like the just holding a book. You know? Holding a book, smelling the pages. I like reading. Sounds a bit weird, but I haven't been doing much the last few days. If you know, you know. What? Reading is good. I like reading as well, but I haven't have been doing have, have you been doing much reading? Okay. Hmm? Have you been doing much reading? Not, not, not recently, no. Yeah. Not recently. recently. What's your thoughts on reading? Do you think everybody needs to read? Hmm. It depends. Some people like watching podcast videos, whatever. YouTube, what we're doing here, innit? Hmm. If you if you like reading, then you do reading in it, or podcast. If that suits you better, then you do that. But I I prefer reading Adam. What about you? Right, 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 right. What about you? Pretty simple. Everybody should read. And you know why? Why? Because books are like I see books like strangers, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every stranger has a story. Every book has a story, man. You know what I mean? Mm. And also one thing, yeah. I remember my uh, my pastor, right? When I was when I was growing up, I'll go to church, and he said, "If you ever," and he was like, um, back in slavery, right? And he was talking about like uh, uh, how black people weren't allowed to read or write and stuff like that. And one of the slave owners was like, if you ever want to hide something from a black person, just write it in the book. Meaning that, oh, black people don't read. Right. But if you want to hide something, write, uh, write it in a book. And see, when he said that, that stuck with me. Stuck with you, yeah? It stuck with me and I was like, yo, I'm going to read everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Give me it, I'm going to read it. You know what I mean? And I've benefited a lot from that. And it's not a case of, oh, I'm going, nah, man. I'm, uh, I'm out, I'm out trying to outsmart the next guy. No, no. Information. Information. It's important, yeah. definitely. I can't mm -hmm. argue with that. Information is definitely is that important. The right information. Because right now we're, we're like saturated with so much information so quickly. Do you know? So much information, but so yeah, reading. Everybody needs to do it. Everybody needs to do it, no matter what age you are. No matter what age you are, man. Read. Start reading. Oh, I hate reading. You know my concentration. It's. Um, I have uh, I've got dyslexia. I've got a dude. I've got ADHD, right? But I still find a way to read because it's not even about me. It's not about me. It's about getting information. How can I get information? I gotta read. I gotta be around the right people. Oh, I, I'm an introvert. I don't want to be around people. I hate people, man. I think once you pick it up, out. once you pick it up and start reading, it starts going with you. Guys. Like anything else. Like anything else, man. Just gotta start it. Yeah, read. Read them, man. Um, uh, do you have any favorite books, man? I don't, don't have any favorite books. I just like reading them down. All kinds of information. Instagram. How to what? <laughs> you like reading Instagram? <laughs> yeah. Instagram, man. Same. Facebook statuses. There's all a book called. Okay, what about you? There's a book um, by this guy, right? It's called uh, Og. It's called The Great Sa Salesman by Ogmandino, right? Right. And it speaks about how, like, the whole this 
this dude was like came from nothing and now has all the riches in the world like literally it's uh it's about abundance it's not just about cash right it's about abundant abundance in every aspect of your life so if you if you look at your the different aspects of your life you have your physical right you've got your your mental mm-hmm. right you've got your financial you've got your relationships mm-hmm. how do i get everything operating at such a high high level right that book illustrates that all of it all of it and what happens right is uh the book's about it's about this big man how many pages right literally it's about this big uh, like 200 and something pages That's Not a lot bad. man Not That's a lot not And uh, But I tell you what man It will take you three months To finish that book Is it? When you, when you say it's over time uh, I was thinking more like two weeks Not even Not even 200 pages You can finish that in a day But if you're a proper reader Finish that in one day I'm But saying, easy, easy reading In a few weeks But my point is that My point is that the That book right It's like a um, It was like a course Right, because you read it, and after every chapter, you'll have to take the tenets that you're learning, because you'll teach you something new in each chapter, mm-hmm. and each chapter you'll be like, okay, I need to implement this in my life. Very Makes good sense. book. Um, uh, another book I'll say is um, all these other books. Man. Do you read the Bible? No, I don't read the Bible, do you? Yeah, and I think everybody should read the Bible Regardless of, like, religious background I agree Just read it You know? You can take a lot of a lot of things from it What, do you do, how, how many times do you read a week? Or is it just, like, whenever? The Bible? Uh-huh. Not often as I should But I definitely, when I read it, I'm like More people should be reading yeah. this more people so once you get into this, this yeah. and not in 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 a, in a way of like selling it to you, but learning these stories. And plus, it broadens your mind. I'd like to read about the Quran. You no, know, if it was, was written in English. Say, yeah, if if yeah, if I was to read, I would read about every religion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't need to be just the Bible. Absolutely, absolutely. And so reading, man, I say reading is definitely up there. Up there. You know, there's a statistic, statistic, statistic out there, right? That uh, CEOs, right? The average CEO reads four books a month. Huh? Four books a month. Literally. Oh, they're like a thousand pages each. Uh, but like. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. Think about that. It's like almost it's almost like fifty books, forty eight books a year. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Some people have not have never read a book in their life. And they wonder why they are they are where they are. Or they're they, stuck in that bubble. Of course. Or why they're holding certain truths. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the truths that they've been given is from somebody else. And they held, okay, yeah, because I was told. But they've never questioned it. They've never researched it. That's why it's important to read. Uh, I mean, cannot complain, man. Cannot complain. And, uh,. Alright man Do you want to say anything to the cameraman? What's the position today then? Working hard? What time you finish today? Um, half six Half six? Yeah, half six tonight Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah I'll be doing that uh, What time you finish? Uh, today is supposed to finish at Nine 9 p.m. Yeah. Nice. Working, man. Fucking hell, man. I'm doing part time hours compared to that. Just today, though. Tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday's easy shifts, man. Yeah. That's good. 
but you want to give your at? What do you mean? Plug your shit. Like, what are you up to? Plug your shit, man. I'm giving you an opportunity but to put your shit out there. What's plug? Know, what are you doing? If the people want to hit you up, where can they hit you up? You know what I mean? Hit me up on Instagram, innit? That's, uh, the, that's the thing these days. Yeah, but what's your at then? Uh, at Eddie Alexander PT. Good. That's it. I and mean, if they want to get PT, they just go through you over there, yeah? Sure, why not? Give yeah. me a shout and we discuss what you want to do. Good. Good. Ah, uh, yo, man. Appreciate you having me. Appreciate you ha having us. Also, being tuning on. Tuning on or tuning in, bro? Hey, yo. Tuning in. Love and respect. See you on the next one. See you. Peace. Take care.